Hello good people and welcome to Finest Girls Hub. Here we learn, we connect and we grow. In this short video, I'm going to show you a very simple way to filter your data with just a single formula. Why is this important? Sometimes your criteria can get a bit complex. If you can put it in just one single formula, it makes it easier for you to filter your data. Join me in Excel and let's go through this together in 5 minutes. So here I have my sample data. This is a simple data for a restaurant. I want to be able to filter this data using different criteria. I'm going to set up a simple formula here in C4. And this formula is going to control everything I'm able to filter from this data. So as an example, all I need is for this formula to return a true or a false. That's all you need. So it can be as simple as this column should be equal to fruit. So I come, I select the first sample from the first row and I create this should be equal to fruit. Okay, so it works for the first one, but maybe going down, it will return false, false. So as long as we get a boolean true or false, then it's fine. So after you set up this formula, then you step into your data. And then you press Alt AQ. Alt AQ is a shortcut for advanced filter, which is located under data in the advanced filter group here. Okay, so Alt AQ or this is going to highlight your entire data set. Okay, so once it's highlighted the entire data set, this becomes your list range. So from C7, the headers all the way down. Next up is to put in your criteria range. So your criteria range is going to be this cell, which contains your true or false. And when you are selecting it, just include the cell above it, which should be empty. So I'll do this and that. And then I click OK. So when I do that, this will return all fruits in this category column. So this is just one example. I can filter out fruits and let's say all revenue that is greater than 2000. But before that, we need to clear our existing filter. You can do that by pressing Control Shift L. So Control Shift L will reset your data set. Now we are back to our formula. So what we are going to say now is that instead of just fruit, we'll bring the AND function, which will allow us to test two logical tests. So AND, this cell should be equal to fruit. Okay, and then you bring your comma and then you go and pick the revenue, the first sample in the first row, that the number here should be greater than 2000. Okay, and then you close this. So again, this will return either a true or a false. The idea is that we are testing it for every cell here. So once you've done this before, all you need to do is just step in that data set and then you press Alt AQ to activate the advanced filter. The dimensions are already here okay so you don't have to do anything you click ok and then just like that all revenue above 2000 and fruits have been filtered out third example is situations where let's say you want to filter weekend dates okay so you know the weekend is saturday and sunday and it's not very easy filtering that out from a date column here so what we are going to do is we are going to use a formula that will give us either Saturday or Sunday in this cell. And that formula is weekday. So equal to weekday. Okay, so equal to weekday on this date, it's going to give me an index number. So here it's going to give me seven. Seven here representing Saturday by default. If you want to test it, what you can do is that you can run the text function around this. Okay, bring your comma. And then in quotation marks, you put in DDD like this. And then it confirms that indeed 1st January 2005 was a Saturday. So I want to filter out Saturdays and Sunday. Okay, so what I'm going to do is that now my formula is going to read like this. So equal to all. So all test whether it's Saturday or Sunday. So I'll run weekday. Okay, and I'll take this. And then I'll close this. So I'm asking whether this is equal to 7, which is Saturday, or 
the same dates, which is here, is equal to one. Okay, so this is seven or one, and then it gives me true for the first one. So let's filter this out, Alt AQ, dimensions are still the same, I click OK, and then it gives me these days. Now let's test this. So what we are going to do is that we are going to just run a test column here, day of the week. So equal to text, okay, and then we select the day or the date, and then comma into quotation marks DDD, close quotation mark. So we now observe that this has filtered out only dates that are Saturday or Sunday. Now this is very useful. So as long as you get this formula right to return a true or false for the first row sample, you highlight the cell above it and use it as a criteria. You can use it for any complex criteria to filter your data. Please practice and add it to your list of Excel tricks. For more of these short videos, you can send ad to this WhatsApp number. We'll add it to our broadcast list. We send videos directly to you for free, Mondays and Fridays. All our old videos are on our YouTube channel, Finance Skills App. Please visit, subscribe for notification of new videos. Or connect with us on any of these social media handles. Thank you so much for watching.